Andrew Tucker, and welcome to Andrew Tucker World. What's going on, all my great people? What's going on, all my boxing fans? Um, what a great fight yesterday. Um, yesterday and uh, yesterday night in boxing. Uh, it was a great fight between Terrence Bud Crawford and Israel Madrimov. Um, exactly what I expected uh, when it came to these two highly skilled warriors. These these two gentlemen put on a, a great display uh, of boxing. Um, two elite level highly skilled fighters stuck in the rain. Some people say they don't know Israel Madrimov. Um, the thing is, I give I I be honest. The hardcore boxing fans knew who knew who Israel Madrimov was. Um, me, I like when I'm covering the kid. You know, he probably was my highest view live streams. One like well, a few of all six years, he was a few of my highest view live streams. Um, when it came to live commentary, live coverage, um, he's he's like covering two fights i think i did three fights but the first two fights i believe the first fight i covered um on um, when it comes to israel madrimov that did probably almost close to fifty thousand views um i had thousand uh several thousand live viewers um and he's very highly respected and loved different parts of europe um a few parts of asia not that much here in the united states of America or let alone North America. Um, so I guess us hardcore boxing fans that have love and respect for all the fighters from all around the world, all around the globe, you know, uh, especially over here, you know, when it comes to the Andrew Tucker World platform, we have uh, boxing fans from different parts of the world. Um, and so that's why we cater. And, that, and the reason why we have boxing fans and people in this community from different parts of the world, different continents, its regions, its states, um, its, I mean, its countries and its prestigious cities and areas and you know regions and things of that nature are different parts of those lands. It's because we cover fighters and um, we, co we cover fighters um, from different parts of the world, different parts of Europe, Africa, Australia, you know, age, South North America, South America. Um, so boxing is just not a sport located in North America. It's a sport that's located in different parts or, you know, different parts of North America. It's located in different parts of South America, um, North America, Asia, Australia, you know, um, Africa, Europe, it's though no, pretty much around the globe. It's a global sport. It's a worldwide sport. So that's why me and my team, we decided to, you know, kind of separate. Some people followed the trend, some boxing channels. I scoped it out, but I, I don't like to say I'm the, you know, the originator or, or you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like to, you know, if, you know, that's the word to use. I don't like to say all that. I love that other channels was able to expand and be able to cover the sport on a on a um on a greater level or pr pretty much on a wi wider 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 scale you know what i'm saying not just stay right there in one little section you know just actually start to cover all the fighters different ethnicities different cultures different backgrounds um di you know different you know so you know i feel like uh that's a beautiful thing because boxing is a worldwide sport it's just not you know known over here in the United States of America, which is in North America, which the United States of America is this uh, North America uh, power, mo most powerful country, you know, most prestigious country. So it's just not known over here. It may have been defined as, um, when it comes to the sport of boxing, you know, it must have been defined over here to be big, huge over here because of the longevity and the history of the sport and the foundation of the sport. You know, it's a major part here, you know, in the United States of America, just like in the United Kingdom. It's a major part it, it based on history and in on um, the history of the sport on a prestigious level. Um, it's known in, in Europe. So they have long history in those areas, you know. So even, you know, different parts of the world as well, you know, uh, was, you know, but as far as on the, um, on the elite level, pretty much between those places but I just know those who don't know Israel Madrimov 
of course, it's going to be, I have to be honest, us hardcore boxing fans will be the ones who know him. Like I said, I covered three of his fights. All three of his fights did great numbers on Andrew Tucker's World's channel. So I knew who Israel Madrimov was. You know what I'm saying? That's just, now I'm not just saying that separates me from the rest of you guys or from certain other channels, but I just I just know that it was, it was an honor. It was a privilege. It was beautiful covering Israel Madrimov because he always come to fight. He's a very entertaining fighter. So several years ago, as I discovered who he were, who, who he was, um, and as I looked over the history, as I looked at, uh, as I uh, looked, looked, dived a little deeper into his resume, and basically looking at his credentials, and it was quite impressive. So I just well, that's why, based on long film study, knowing who he was, discovering who he was three years ago, knowing I already know who Crawford, knowing all I know a lot about Crawford. I've been I've been following Crawford basically since. He entered before he entered. Entered, I can say, a, a little before he moved up to um, 140 to 140, um, and pretty much became undisputed there. Of course, we all know this. Um, before when he was at 135, I seen the kid fight. Well, I, I seen my little bro because I can't say kid. Crawford ain't nothing but three years younger than me, two and a half, baby. I was in, I was like, man, this guy's a beast, man. This guy's a monster. Um, I mean, he's a highly skilled fighter. I said, I saw it then. I like this guy's a beast. Um, the timing is crazy. The, the power is real. The explosiveness, the elusiveness, the, the, the thinking, the way that he thinks. He's a thinking man fighter. The way, the range of the relationship, how smart he is in the ring when it comes to making adjustments and breaking fighters down once he gets into rhythm, and properly making those adjustments to most definitely after he don't download the information and figured you out. And break you, pick you apart, just based on, just based, just, just, just with skill and and power, just those two deadly combinations, which which makes Crawford dangerous. Um, and he's number one pound for pound fight in the world. Um, I most definitely came to that, you know. Um, and then basically fighting a great fighter like Israel Madrimov. Now the thing is this: people look at okay. Uh, he only have ten. He only have eleven fights or uh, twelve fights or something like that. I think he was now he's uh ten and uh, ten and one, uh, I believe, because he was ten and zero going you know before stepping in the ring with Crawford. Um, Madrimov, I knew it was going to be this, the style, the styles. Uh, I know this was going to be a, a, a stylistically it was going to be an epic war, epic battle, chess match too, <laughs> a, a, a elite level chess match. Um, and it was beautiful to watch. People, some people say born, born, born. I guess, uh, I guess people just, they just stick to just one way, to they just look for one thing in boxing. I can't, I ain't judging them. I ain't coming against them. If that's what they're looking for, that's what they want. When it comes to, to certain fighters and knowing, not knowing that fighters, you know, that's the way that they, they do things. But then again, what changed their mind and give and change their perception about a fighter was when a fighter started to dominate after figuring another opponent out. It's, it's, it's the sweet science. So you people say the sweet science, uh, sweet science, this is no sweet science. And not, it's not all you think it may be. It can be the way you dominate and, and destroy a guy on the inside, the way you destroy a guy on the outside, uh, the way you start to uh, the destroy a guy from mid range, um, the way you work the angles and dominate and, you know, throw combinations, single single shots, double, sh triple, uh, single punch counter, two punch combination, two punch counter. However you do it, it's just the way you can dominate. Even the way you can dominate, it can be the sweet science. Just boxing itself is the sweet science. How, what allow you to become champion? What allow you to be great? What allow you to, you to rise above and be, be and to become on that and to get on that elite level transition, slowly transition and be and become an elite level fighter? It's basically yes perfecting your craft uh, uh continue to learn continue to get better continue to learn different styles especially when you have gotten the ring and challenged yourself and really challenged your really 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 challenged yourself and, and want to prove that you were the best against another monster skilled skilled monster you know so that's how that's how you able to see where you're at you know you know when it comes to skill and when it comes to where you're at and what level you're on as far as when, when you know and in the and, and, and on a professional level. So Israel Madrimov is one of the best. Why? He was champion. Crawford moving up to 154. He's um moving up to his weight class to try to dethrone one of the um 154 pounds, one of the, the um one of the super he's you know 154 pounds. You know, he keeps moving up. Madrimov 
Israel Majumov was was one of the best fighters there. You know what I'm saying? If not the best fighter there. You know, he was the best. He was champion, one of the champions. And so he was a huge threat. He's a big, strong guy. You, know, you can look at his physique. Crawford couldn't stop him. Crawford hit him with hit him with his best shots. Crawford literally tried to take his head off. But people don't want to crucify Crawford, saying he's not ready for this fighter, ready for that fighter. Moving up to fight Canelo, I understand. I'm a little, I'll be a little nervous, a little worried about that fight as well. But at the end of the day, um, he's daring to be great. Um, Crawford believes in his abilities. He believes in his skill, his skills. He believes that he's just that great. He's just that good. Hey, listen, Crawford, 36 years old, haven't lost yet. <laughs> so he really believed in himself. You can't knock him for having the, uh, the confidence to, to believe that he's just that good. He's just that great. Um, and he's number one pound for pound fighter for a reason. And the thing is, the fact that he's now 36 years old, a veteran in the game, he haven't been defeated yet. Ain't nobody was able to break break him or stop him or allow him to think differently. Allow him to actually now be like, okay, I need, now I just need to know that you know where I'm at. He don't need to second guess. He don't need to be confused about nothing. He believes in his skills. He believes in his abilities. He believes that he is number one powerful pound fighter of the world. He believes he was one of the best. Now he believes he's the best. But at the end of the day, he's understanding and he's mindful that there are other great fighters out there too. And very well, he may have his day where it's just not the same for him. Father time can creep up. He can can decline. He can majorly decline in a, in, in one fight and against another skill how a skilled fighter and dangerous fighter. And, and, and things don't go as co according to plan. But that haven't happened yet. He's 36. So the thing is, he he's a great fighter. Israel Madrimal believed he was the best. That's why we had these two, had a great fight yesterday between two highly technically sound superior fighters. People that don't know Israel Madrimal, right? So if I was to tell you guys, he's a decorated amateur. Um, he he won silver medal or silver, or silver medal in one game, and he also won gold in another game. So Israel Mazurov, professional boxer, who has held the World Boxing Association light middleweight title in 2004, as we know, and Crawford took that belt. Congratulations to Terence Bud Crawford. He is now four division world champion, great fighter. Uh, of course, he was champion 135, undisputed at. Uh, a champion at 135 moved up to 140, clear, clean, cleared out that division, fighting the best, taking all the prestigious titles, being undisputed at 140. Then he moved to took care of business at 140, moved up to 147, uh, was able to knock out everybody that was put in the ring against him, uh, was able to be clear out that division, become 147, undisputed champion, fighting the best fighters in that weight class, um, and except one in Israel Madrimov. Uh, over the so six sixteen two thousand sixteen up to that fight last night, he um the street ended. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was knocking everybody out since two thousand and sixteen. So Israel Madrimov, that's understandable though, because you're talking about a guy that rehydrate bigger. Of course, him and Crawford rehydrate bigger. So. Basically, they're actually middleweights in the ring and not 154 pounders, but they made the weight. Um, Israel Madrimov Madrim is the natural 154 pounder um, between the two because he's been the longer. Even though Crawford is actually a natural 160 pounder, Israel Madrimov can be also a natural 160 pounder or basically a natural 168 pounder. Yeah, the people be like, where's well, height? Height don't sometimes don't have anything to do with nothing, you know, to a certain extent, because he's like, well, 5'8", him and Crawford about the same height. Crawford can easily make, and not have to struggle, and easily make 168 pounds. His walk away, <laughs> these guys walk around weight be like 170, 170, 175. You understand? So the thing is, is that these are big, big, even big <laughs> junior welterweights. Uh, uh, light, uh, light welterweights. I mean, um, super welterweights. I'm sorry. So, these are big guys, and um, so it wasn't surprising that Crawford was was able to handle his power, handle the power, or he was able to handle Crawford power. You know, it wasn't surprising to me at all why it went 12. I said that either 12, somebody stopped whatever, who somebody gets stopped within the late ninth or tenth round by TKO. Um, so I just knew that. I told my partner we was over here watching the fight. I'm sorry, guys, I couldn't go live and do live commentary. Had a lot of things going on, a lot of personal things going on. So I'm going to get back to commentary and live coverage very soon. Don't worry, guys. I apologize. UK Army Tucker, Army Tucker, Army Worldwide, UK Army, my UK brothers and sisters. 
I want to apologize to you guys. Um, so just keep me in prayers too, because you know, the times we're in, you know, it's so different. And the enemy is trying to discourage us and attack us in so many different ways in the physical realm and the spiritual realm, especially in the spiritual realm on a, on a greater level than ever before. So stay in prayer, guys. Continue to pray for each other. Pray for your families, your friends, and just try to stay at peace and seek God when it comes to strength, peace, and comfort, and that love and joy and happiness, and, and separate from the world. It's just so evil. But um, love you guys, but just know Israel Majorah was going to be a tough fight. Um, and the, and this this guy is a monster. Um, um, he probably seen so many different styles. It's not even funny. I mean, this guy I've had at least over eighty something amateur fights. All right, these guys normally be the the most difficult styles. You know, you have a silly Lomachenko. You have um, you have um, Alexander Usyk. These type of guys, they they style their styles, like especially like this European and then the Asian European style. These guys are just so dangerous. Elite level, they the confidence, they're strong. I mean, these guys, their mindset be so strong and so disciplined in ways that they don't, they're gonna, they're gonna just not be reckless. Their lifestyle outside the ring, they don't play none of this, with, play none of that as far as what people do over here and the garbage that's kind of hindering their performances over here in the states or North America. They're not like that. Like those parts, of certain parts, of Europe, pretty much almost all of you, uh, uh, there are a lot of different parts of Europe. They uh and and, and they're even like they're in the Asian different parts of Asia, them guys they their their confidence, their discipline is just like on a whole nother level. I'm not saying it's not like that like that over here, but it's so great, great and great and more un greatly uh greatly uh um on a great level, I'm saying this is on a great on a on a high high level, prestigious level when it comes to disciplinary. I mean, this being disciplined and more under control and and everything being more balanced when it's over over there with them guys. That's why them styles and they they 100% focus on the craft and they so skilled, just like we are over here. They're so skilled, and highly skilled, and they just believe in what they do. They don't believe in doing nothing else. They don't believe in losing as well. Just the confidence and the discipline is just on a whole other level. But we have that here too. But it's only selected, selected. It's like really mandatory, mandatory over there though, those places. So Israel Majorah is a beast. I know it's gonna be difficult. People said he only fought a guy. You know, some guys don't know boxing. Some guys don't watch boxing. They, if they don't know who Israel Majorah is, they don't know boxing. They're not a hardcore boxing fan. Not saying they don't know boxing, or they just don't really fully, you know, what I'm saying, and not in into the sport. Because if you're fully into the sport, you're covering fights from all around the world, all around the globe. Boxing is global. It's worldwide. You understand, like. It's, it's it's like a worldwide sport. I cover, we cover me and my team, and I only select a few guys. We cover the entire sport. I even encourage and encourage and motivate and inspire some guys to cover fighters from different parts of the world. I even had guys just like I had to break by being biased towards certain fighters. I ain't gonna lie, it started out like that, but I I refuse to sell my soul. I, re I refuse to be a puppet as well. Hope this don't get censored. But anyways, guys, Israel Majumov. You talk about a guy with 80, 80, 80, 80 fights in the amateurs. Um, he he had only had like eighteen losses or something like that on twelve knockouts. Not that's that's a, a pretty decent amateur record. He's probably seen so many different styles. Traveled the world, mainly, you know, on a certain side, and and was able to dominate. The, the guy is like five eight and a half, and he even back in the amateurs he was fighting even bigger than one fifty four. He was fighting like with one fifty four probably one sixty at the highest. So he was dominating bigger guys as well, you know? So people just need to understand sometimes when you have a long decorated amateur career, even even being being uh, uh, participating in games and winning medals and things of that nature, normally these guys be the most dangerous because they have put in a lot, they have put in, a, they have put in a lot of work before even turning professional. And that's why they can turn professional late. I told people that Canelo was gonna lose to uh, to Dimitri Bivol, not because he was a little longer, taller and longer reaching and, and I just looked at the skills I just looked at I just looked at the things that he was able to do and he's familiar with so many different styles and he had a long amateur record too just like Israel Madrimov just like Olazana Usyk and just like Vasily Lomachenko these guys are going to be the most difficult styles to deal with especially those European fighters so I have to remind people when I'm on it 
inside and they're on the outside looking in i try to educate them get to the, allow them to understand but some people are just so naive and so stuck in their ways only believing and seeing it their way that they're not going to listen to you even when they know they tell the truth or they don't want to hear the truth because they just want to see it their way and to actually be presented and showed in front of them then that's when they change their mind and then they feel bad because they didn't never want to be wrong it's not being wrong it's just knowing so a friend of mine he was surprised that is where Mazarov went 12 <laughs> with Crawford. I wasn't because you had two elite level fighters, two great fighters. They may have taken slightly two different paths, but they end up at the same result as being great fighters in, on the professional level. Guys don't know Israel Mazarov. Don't be so quick to judge and jump and assume. Go do film study. Go do your homework before you say a fighter is not this and a fighter not that. Crawford probably fought the best fighter he ever fought yesterday night. Um, or the best fighter, or probably was Israel Mesramov probably was the best fighter based on the credentials and the, on, and the accolades um, that Crawford stepped in the ring with. Um, no disrespect to, to Spence, to to, to, um, to Spence, all the other great fighters, you know, Sean Porter, uh, um, you know, um, Earl Spence Jr., Sean Porter, um, Cal Brook. No disrespect to the, 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 um, none of those guys. Um, you know, um, Kyle Brook, uh, Mir Khan, you know, it's just Crawford just on another, slightly on another level. And I feel like the toughest fight of his career was yesterday. He had a lot of other great fighters he went up against, the Ricky Burns of the Worlds and things of that nature, but I think Israel Madrimov was to be the first that was near him, if that makes sense. I love you guys. More videos coming, uh, more live streams. You guys keep me in prayer. Love you guys. Andrew Tucker. Andrew Tucker World, and I'm out. Much love and respect.